All right, everybody, this is the Fantasy Sports Boss with a late Saturday video for you. We were hit with a double whammy gut punch. Uh, first, the Indianapolis Colts have officially ruled out Michael Pittman for tomorrow's game. I did an earlier video when the news first broke. Uh, but then that was quickly followed by uh, Gabe Davis being added to the uh, injury report just today. Uh, the Bills were practicing today since they play Monday night. Injured his ankle, rolled it, tweaked it. I don't know the specifics of it. But the fact that he's been added to the injury report this late in the week is a potential problem, doubly so that the Bills play Monday night. And, it, you know, obviously lessens the amount of possible replacements you could have. So starting with Pittman, just like Davis, he got injured during this week in practice, not during last Sunday's game. And there's no other way to sugarcoat it. This is a astronomical loss. Uh, you, know, you have an alpha wide receiver one who... I felt strongly could be finishing the top five in catches this season with Matt Ryan as his quarterback. We know Ryan loves to heavily target his top receivers. And now Pittman's out with a quad injury. So even worse for Ryan is that Alec Pierce, the rookie, uh, deep threat, is also out. So that really leaves Paris Campbell uh, and then uh, the two tight ends there, uh, uh, Mo Ali cox and um, uh, Granson, picking up the slack. Now, you know, I wouldn't bother with adding the two tight ends, but Paris Campbell, if you're in a pinch, and I did myself, I, I, I uh, picked up Campbell to replace Pittman uh, in the one league that I own Pittman. Not feeling great about it, but the only thing that I would fall back on is the fact that, well, two things. They're playing the Jaguars, which is a very forgivable defense. And two, Ryan does tend to target his his uh, top receiver heavily. And in this case, almost by default, it's going to be Paris Campbell. Now, Naheem Hines, who's not on the waiver wire in most competitive leagues, he's going to be heavily involved as well. Jonathan Taylor will get a ton of carries, but uh, this is a huge loss. And then Gabe Davis. Um, th th this was surprising to me because we haven't seen anything on Davis all week. And then he showed up today with the ankle injury. Um, so the only option you have as a Gabe Davis owner, because you want to play him, is you pick up Isaiah McKenzie. If Isaiah McKenzie is available, which he should be, uh, even though he caught a touchdown last week, he wasn't as heavily involved as I thought he would be. Um, you could pick up Ga uh, Isaiah McKenzie and even Jamison Crowder if you had to, um, to have as a hedge. You know, I, I would say that Davis does play because he's, he's, he's a tough, you know, he strikes me as a tough uh, receiver who's willing to play through pain. Um... But at the same time, you have to be realistic to the notion that he could sit out just because of the, this injury coming so late in the week. So this is something we have to stay on top of uh, tomorrow. Hopefully, we'll get an update on Davis tomorrow, and then we can react. But um, really, Isaiah McKenzie is the only option that makes sense. You want to try to wait this out on Davis because he's so talented. Um, but again, if he's out, you're really left with very few options for replacement. All right, hit that subscribe, hit the notification button. Tomorrow's a big day, week two. Got the live stream tomorrow evening, got the videos all day long. I'm going to do the weather video probably in the morning, uh, and then we'll go from there. All right, we'll talk soon.